I'm Betsy Carley, and I'll be sharing our project overview and findings for Site 1, Case 2, which was a dairy cattle operation. The dairy for this case was a commercial operation in Northern California that was milking about 1,900 cows. This case was with the hospital workers, and the issues that were addressed were communication between the workers in the hospital area between the different shifts. Also, marking of the cows by the milkers to reduce confusion so the hospital workers had a better idea of which cows needed treatment or testing, and improved data entry to improve treatment outcomes. There were seven members of this community of practice and seven meetings were held. The first identified need for this case was to improve communication between the hospital employees that were working on different shifts, morning and evening as in, in addition to different days of the week. We hypothesized that improved communication would help improve the employees in the hospital area, their communication and function, and improve animal health and well-being. To address this need to improve communication and make work easier and more efficient, we implemented the community of practice approach. With the outcomes of developing and implementing a written communication tool, that workers from one shift would use and then leave for the workers on the subsequent shift. Department managers also encouraged discussions among the workers and acted as facilitators around certain topics to achieve more efficiency. Second identified need was to provide a forum to discuss the confusion that was caused by inconsistent markings on the cows that were done by the milkers. This made it difficult for hospital workers to know what exactly needed to be done with a particular cow and if sample had already been taken. We hypothesized that an improved marking system for milkers would help identify which cows had health issues and help the workers in the hospital pen know which cows needed treatment, needed sampling, or needed some other type of care. To address this need, the original idea was that milkers would be retrained with a more consistent marking system. That became complicated, so the hospital workers decided just to try a different marking strategy to improve identification of health issues on the cows. As we progressed through the community of practice, this was still a work in progress, but the hospital workers did report that cow markings were improved over the course of the community of practice meetings. The third identified need in this case was consistency in data entry. Multiple individuals were entering data, including treatments and sample results, which could cause confusion relative to the hospital records. We hypothesized that improving data entry would improve the hospital department record keeping and make workers more efficient. To address this need, the community practice worked with the managers on the dairy to devise a more effective strategy. And it was decided that one manager would have the sole responsibility for all the data entry to achieve consistency rather than having multiple individuals enter the data. This case was not without its challenges. One of the main challenges that the hospital community practice encountered was a little bit of difficulty obtaining buy-in from all parties to implement some of the ideas that the group had proposed. Communication certainly did improve, but it was still a work in progress with this community of practice. We thought this might have occurred due to differing personalities between members of the team and inconsistent scheduling, so there wasn't enough overlap time for workers to plan and discuss strategies. Ultimately, there was a stated commitment by ownership, management, and the participating employees with respect to supporting the goals identified by the members of the community of practice. However, as is the case on many dairies, challenges of the daily workload made follow through a little bit more difficult with this community of practice and potentially less effective overall. We would like to acknowledge the funding received by the Antimicrobial Use and Stewardship Program at the California Department of Food and Agriculture and thank our cooperators and team members for their assistance with this project. A special thanks goes to all of the dairy employees, managers, and livestock operation owners for their participation. We simply could not do this project without your assistance.
For more information, please feel free to contact the project director, Dr. Rosie Bush, at the email listed on the screen.